Well, ladies and gentlemen, Bessie has sorted everything out with the owner of the Jurassic World Park. And today I have been hired back. We are taking over. Now, the only issue is they wanted me to go through the orientation process again, just so I fully understand what went wrong last time, which was pretty much everything that could have gone wrong. We had dinosaurs escaping. There were bandits trying to take over Jurassic World. There were lightning storms and literally like so many other things. But I got myself some disaster dogs today and I... I am ready to take care of this entire park. Right now it's shut down, so we need to go through and meet everybody once again so we can reopen the park. Let's go ahead and hop on the monorail. This system literally connects the entire park, and this thing is massive. I need to be on the lookout for every sort of disaster today, just in case, because as more disasters happen, more and more things can keep going wrong. But ladies and gentlemen, if you are excited and do want to see some more episodes, I need you guys for it. We need to make this the most liked series on the entire channel. If you guys do that, I will make sure that this time around, we will make this park the bestest, least disasterful park ever. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We just went through the main gate, and I think we're coming to the entrance of the park. Oh, we're getting the music too. Look, we got the Mosasaurus Stadium. Look at it. Look at it down there. It's so sick. Last time, I barely even did anything with the Mosasaurus. I wasn't even able to feed it before I got fired, but I refuse to get fired in this series, ladies and gentlemen. We are taking over this park. I am going to make this the bestest park in the entire universe. I mean, how could I not? There are so many dinosaurs in the entire Jurassic World Park that it is it is going to be a lot of work, but it will be worth it. Let's go ahead down here and follow the path. I believe we are going to meet up with the owner of the park. But look at this. We have one of the exhibits right here. I think this is the Gentle Giants exhibit. We have a couple of our workers in there working with the Triceratops. I need to move quickly, ladies and gentlemen. We have to get this park open so we can start making money. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at the fossils and we have officially made it to the innovation center excuse me lady there is so much innovation happening look at the holograms bestie would be so proud all right but we've officially made it to the lab this is where all of the dinosaur reviving process happens look at this we got this little tiny robot that's working on this egg we have an entire station filled with scientists and here we have my man dr Wu. here at the lab we create dinosaurs from dna the basic building blocks of life return to me after you speak with Claire and Mr. Masrani, and I will tell you about my creations. So this guy is the flippin' man. He's able to create pretty much any dinosaur and bring it back to life. But let's go to the lab floor. We can go up to the control room, uh, and I think we are officially ready to open Jurassic World. Let's talk with Claire. The park is currently closed, obviously, so we aren't earning revenue, but we don't suffer any disasters either. We need to make more dinosaurs and finish the exhibits before we can open the park. Go to the roof and talk to Mr. Masrani about getting more DNA. So I've already been through this process. We I need to go up to the roof and get in Mr. Masrani's helicopter. Hey, Mr. Masrani, you you remember me? Back Pro Jack from, from, yeah, from a couple months ago? I think he might actually hate me. But I do know for a fact he wants me to head over to the mines. Actually, I don't think I need to steal his helicopter. Sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go head over to the Amber Mines. Yeah, we're gonna let Mr. Masrani fly his helicopter because I feel like he does not like me and he probably actually hates my guts. So we're not gonna steal his helicopter, at least for now. All right, cool, we made it over to the mines. Let's go ahead and collect our pickaxe, our extraction tool, and obviously lots and lots of disaster dogs. So scattered around the mines, we have amber samples. We need to go ahead and extract them from the ore. We have our extraction tool. Yes, okay. So we got one out of the five. We have a com I can't pronounce dinosaur names. But within these amber fossils, we are actually able to extract DNA in order to turn it into dinosaur DNA. And then Dr. Wu and his team are able to actually revive all the dinosaurs. Sweet, we have another one right here. We are literally just mining fossils. This is so cool. Looks like there might be one down in this water. Oh, I see another one right over by this waterfall. Okay, cool. We have three. We just got a Spinosaurus sample. So it looks like each of the amber fossils that we're collecting is a different dinosaur. We only need two more and then we can bring them back to the lab. I see one right down there. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but in the middle, it looks like that is a piece of amber. It's in this giant cenote. Okay, let's go down. Hopefully I don't drown. If I do i am definitely going to get fired again i i'm literally like like if i do anything wrong today i'm just not gonna have a park anymore okay boom we got it we got it come on give me it. yes we got a brachiosaurus okay please let me swim please let me swim come on come on yes we only need one more i think i know where it is too last time i remember i had to go through a giant minecart system yes here it is okay press for minecart thank you for the minecart and let's go find the last amber fossil
muscle. Okay, I think I remember how this works. So, if I hit this lever, it will switch the direction of the minecart. If I remember correctly, this one needs to face towards the waterfall. So, let's press for a minecart and see if I got this right. Okay, so we're gonna go this way, all the way up here. We're just gonna keep going. This is like a roller coaster. Okay, now this one, I think, has to point towards the ceiling. I really hope I'm getting this right because if you mess up even one of these levers, it'll take you all the way back to the start. And I do not have time. It just, it took me back to the start. All right, well, I guess this one, uh, it got slightly wrong. That's all right. That's what scientists do. They have to, uh, the, they do lots of testing. Okay, that should hopefully be the right direction. Let's go test it out. Okay, this is, no, wait, 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 wait. Is this? It's not changing anything. What? Oh, wait a second. Okay, maybe if I change it there, it will change the next route. So if I keep going through here, or maybe not. So if I keep going through here this time, it should go in the right direction. Okay, I think it actually worked. So we're going down here. We go down this little roller coaster, and this should take me to the next destination. I'm 99% certain that this one points towards the floor. So we're just gonna, we're gonna give a shot. At this point, I think I'm just guessing a little bit, but it should work, right? I mean, if, it, if I'm wrong, I could just fall about 100 blocks down and uh, you know, just slightly die. Okay, this is the last one. If I remember correctly, this one stays the exact same. If I'm wrong, I'm going all the way back to the start. So please, please, please work. Please work. There's a lot of riding on this. They told me this time around they have security cameras everywhere and that they're going to be watching my every single move to see exactly how bad I am at owning a Jurassic Park. So I really need to make sure I'm on my A plus behavior here. Okay, okay. This looks familiar. We're going all the way down. I think this is right. Okay, yeah. If I remember correctly, right at the top of this should be the final amber fossil. I'm gonna need to use a little bit of parkour skills. Hey, why can't I get up? Oh my gosh, I really have to parkour all the way around? This entire place is so abandoned. I think I'm going the right way. I don't know. I can't see the amber fossil though. I'm not, I'm not sure. Do you guys see it anywhere? I see a ladder system, so it should be right on top of that. I see it. I actually see it. Let's go. Okay, this is it. The moment of truth. We need to get out our extraction tool. Yes, yes, yes. Come to me, dinosaur. What do we get? We got a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Sick, dude. I'm pretty sure mine may have escaped last time around, but we're not gonna talk about that. Okay, we collected all the samples, so I should be able to go all the way back up to Mr. Masrani, and we can take them back to Dr. Wu. Oh, Mr. Masrani. That's right, bro. I did it. I got all the fossils. You can't fire me yet. Okay, we're back at Isla Nubar. We're gonna go back down to the lab, and let's go talk to Dr. Wu. My work creating dinosaurs from DNA fragments spans two decades. It starts with a sample, which can be frozen in amber or fossils. At stage one, you will learn where we store the samples. If you find other samples in the world, use this extraction tool to collect them. Okay, here is section one. The first step in making a brand new dinosaur is to clone it for an infinite amount, so you can make infinite dinosaurs using just the one piece of DNA. We have to take several samples from the store storage unit labeled Gallimimus, and then go to station two to extract the DNA. Look at this. We have been able to clone all of the different amber ores that I've got. Looks like we might actually have room for a lot more. Okay, so here is the Gallimimus. Let's go ahead and grab, I guess, just an entire stack of fossils. We'll go ahead over to extraction. I'm pretty sure all I need to do is put this in the top. We also need to grab ourselves some vials. We need three red vials, two blue vials, and one green vial. Okay, I think it's actually working. Sweet. Okay, so we have three strands of red DNA. Let's get the blue ones in there and also the green vial. Yeah, there we go. Okay, since I don't need the rest of the DNA, we should probably put that back in storage because it's uh, most certainly like a billion dollars. Next up, station number three. We need to place all these in the sequencer. There we go. We have the three, the two, and the one. Now we have the embryo. Next up, we need to go over to incubation. So in the bottom, we actually insert the ostrich eggs and combine it with the embryo. So I put that in the incubator. It should actually inject it into the ostrich egg. It'll mix the DNA and replace the ostrich with the dinosaur. There we go. We actually have the egg. Next up, we need to hatch it. I also found a box of stun sticks. That's going to be really useful. We also <laughs> have a guard. We're going to collect ourselves a crossbow, some darts. Let's get a lot of darts and also a couple trans transport crates just in case any dinosaurs decide to escape. That is exactly what happened last time and that's why I got fired. So this time around, we are going to make sure we are prepared. So I think the last step in getting our dinosaur is to place the egg inside of here. There we go. We got our new dinosaur. Okay, so we hatched it in here and now I think they're actually able to clone it and then make a ton more. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Jurassic World is ready to reopen. Uh, hopefully this time I don't mess anything else up. Look at that. They're cloning all of the eggs. Uh, Okay, now we can go ahead back to the control room and get this party started. What's up, everybody? It's me, Big Pro Jack. We are back. We are 
ready to open the park. Vivian, Lowry, nice to see you uh, again. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if they like me either, ladies and gentlemen. It does not matter, though. We are back. And better than ever, we are opening our park in three, two, one. The park is now open. Okay, sick. We have ourselves our park brochure so we can see exactly where to go. Been open for 10 seconds. We have zero disasters. Look at that revenue. Look at all the, that money. I'm going to use it all to buy cookies. And probably, I guess, more dinosaurs, too. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. The disaster's already started. A wild Spinosaurus has appeared near the river to the east of the lagoon. Tranquilized and transported or eliminated. We marked the site with a hot air balloon. This is what happened last time, ladies and gentlemen, and bad things started happening. Okay, so this is the area I need to go. Bottom, middle, right of the map. This is my first test, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're gonna return to Mr. Masrani. Return to Mr. Masrani. We gotta return. Okay, okay, that, that my, my walkie-talkie's broken. That's fine, that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna adapt. Mr. Masrani? Okay, crap, dude, it's nighttime. I'm gonna need to accommodate your helicopter. Really sorry about that, bro. I just jumped out of your helicopter. Okay, we need to go to the bottom of the map. There we go. We have the hot air balloon. As long as no other disasters start right now, we're gonna be okay. I also remember, too, when it starts raining, the disasters happen a lot more faster. Or quickly, I guess. That's the yep. Totally good at English, Jack. You're panicking! Alright, we are right at the mark, so it should be somewhere down here. So far, I don't see anything. We need to go extremely fast. There it is. Okay, okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get it back. I don't wanna lose any dinosaurs today. So we have ourselves our cross. Hello, sir! Have you heard that? That cookies are delicious! Please, stop what you're doing! We got him, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're gonna capture the dinosaur. He's sleeping, but it's not- I'm not- I'm, Why can't I capture it? Do I throw it down? Do I place it down? Oh, I did it! Disaster one solved! Let's go! Okay, back to Mr. Masrani. So I have a Spinosaurus in my inventory. I guess the next order of business will be to go release it back in its cage. Before I do anything else, let's go back to the control room and make sure that no other disasters are happening. Okay, the park has been open for two minutes, and we've only had one disaster. <laughs> We have another disaster already. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I need to get to this, but if you guys have missed the first episode, I will explain exactly what's going on. Wait, uh, hold on. Let me figure out what is this? What is the disaster? Repair the damaged gyrosphere in the gyrosphere valley exhibit in the northwest. How do I repair it? I have I have a wrench. I think I could just smack it with a wrench. Okay, we need to get up to the helipad, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World. In this series, I have opened, uh, you know, an entire Jurassic Park with tons and tons of dinosaurs. Uh, my friend, Mr. Mazzarani, here kind of funded the whole project and last time i may have got fired so that is why uh in today's episode we are going to have to do our best to make sure that the entire park does not burn down there's no dinosaur escaping and no bandits are able to infiltrate my park even though it may seem easy it is the most difficult thing in the entire world to maintain an entire park filled with living dinosaurs but i can do it i believe in myself if you guys also think i can do it please go ahead and leave a like because i kind of also don't believe in myself i'm slightly terrified that i'm gonna mess everything up and i'm gonna get fired and i'm never gonna see a dinosaur again okay we're looking for a broke gyrosphere this is the ball that everything rolls around in except in minecraft it is the cube because circles are illegal do i just hit it with the wrench i did it no active disasters remaining i'm the best park owner ever that is if you don't count the time that i maybe blew up the park i actually have barely gotten a chance to look at the dinosaurs in jurassic world it seems like we have a giant triceratops Wait, no, these are not Triceratops. At least, I don't think that they are. They, they're like a Styrosaurus or something. They're very similar to, 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 to Triceratops. English is hard. They're very similar to a Triceratops, but I believe they're different in the fact that they have these giant fans behind their heads. I also just remembered, in the last episode, we captured a wild Ankylosaurus or Allosaurus. So, uh, I need to figure out where exactly the Allosaurus exhibit is so I can release this massive beast. I would release it here, but I also don't want to accidentally get fired today. It's only my second day on the job. No! Really? Another disaster? We have saboteurs! Saboteurs have been spotted on the east dock on the northeastern shore. We marked it with a hot air balloon. Okay, um, I'm not at the control room, so I don't know exactly where that is. Is there sectors on this? Sector 3, my park brochure shows nothing. Why couldn't they give me an iPad or something with directions? We have the scientific power to make dinosaurs and bring them back to life, but they can't give me an iPad? I don't see a hot air balloon anywhere. I'm getting a little bit nervous here, ladies and gentlemen. You see, the thing about 
about the disasters is that they can slowly build up over time. And if there's too many disasters, well, the entire park shuts down. I see the hot air balloon. Let's go. Not today, saboteurs. You are about to meet the big bro cookie king. I should probably be a little bit more intimidating when I greet myself or, or when I introduce myself. Saboteurs, get ready to die. I must smack you. With, oh, never mind. Not with my ranch. With my stun stick. They have axes? Bro, I thought for sure they would have guns or something. Why are you being all sus like? Uh, chill, 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 chill. I was just kidding. Saboteurs have been sabotored. Oh, how the turntable. What even is this place? What were they trying to steal? There's a lost and found. Oh, what is this? We have a uh, shaving cream. Were they? Wait, what? Shaving cream is a sample? That's weird. We have a golf ball. That looks kind of like an ender pearl. I think somebody may have broke Jurassic World. Yes, I found pants. I can finally put on some pants. Hello, Mrs. Tools. Want some tools? Jurassic World is yours to rebuild however you like. Need a doorway? Just make one. The only places you can't alter are the innovation center lab and control room. Uh, doing that would throw the whole park into chaos. Sweet. Okay, so I think I actually have most of these tools. I just need to get my hands on a shovel and also an axe. Thank you, Mrs. Tools Lady. Uh, exhibit damage in sector two. The fence around the gyrosphere is in the northwest has been knocked down. Go fix it. Can I fix it? I have glass railing blocks. Wait, how do I fix it? Um, 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 I think that's a brand new disaster. I've, I've never heard of that disaster, but we're gonna go investigate. Most of my job, uh, you know, I, I thought it was gonna be just, like, playing with dinosaurs and, like, doing cool scientific experiments. Bessie really forgot to explain to me that managing Jurassic World would just be putting out disasters. I'm basically like a fireman, a cop, a medic, and the, the, the army all in one. I'm really hoping that at some point, these disasters just kind of go away, because over there, there's a Mosasaurus, and I would really love to see it jump out of the water and eat a great white shark. But I can't do that because I gotta go fix some gyrosphere. I really hope I have the necessary tools in order to fix this. Okay, so it says it is right down here. Sector 2. Oh, I think I see it. Hopefully this handy dandy wrench is able to get this job done. Hello, security. Stop saboteurs. Track storm. Wait, can we track the storm? No storm currently inbound. What about stop saboteurs? No saboteurs are active. So I guess I could go to the security if next time I decide that the saboteurs are causing lots of issues. Um, did I fix it? Yes! It has been repaired! Hold up, wait a second. There's one more section over here. I am doing a fantastic job, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! Did I fix it? I did it! The disasters! I'm just, I'm wiping my hands clean of every single disaster today. No! I was I was just about to go see the Mosasaurus! No! Wait, we have a beach here? I feel like that's that's a really, really close spot for, for them to be. The Mosasaurus is like, it's right on the other side. But whatever. I also figured out I have this walkie-talkie that returns me directly back to my director, Mr. Mazzarani, who can just spawn helicopters out of his butt. Oh, saboteurs! Okay, it said Sector 3. Um, I, 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 I think I'm starting to get the sectors down. Sector 3 is this way? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 yo, yo, yo. We have another another emergency landing. I still haven't found the saboteurs. Okay, we'll take care of another helicopter that landed. Who is flying these helicopters? But is that the one that I flew a little earlier? Did I accidentally leave a helicopter on the golf course? I that may have been me. If I'm gonna I'm gonna repair it real quick, right? And then we need to escape very quickly and figure out where these saboteurs are. I haven't seen any hot air balloons, so I'm starting to get really nervous that they took out the hot air balloon. Okay, new order of business. We need to find security, and maybe the security guards can take care of the saboteurs. It's also turning nighttime too, bro. That's when the saboteurs are gonna be doing their best work. Wait, is this the same thing that broke earlier? There's no way. It is! These dinosaurs are savages, bro. They keep trying to break out. Uh, okay, I just got stuck in a tree. That's fine, that's fine. We just gotta, we gotta move quickly. Uh, this is, there's, there's, there's security. Security. Stop saboteurs. No saboteurs active. Wait a second, did you guys already stop the saboteurs? Nice, high five, bro. I slapped him with a wrench. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fix this again. There we go. And just like that, big bro fixer, Bob the Builder, has done his job again. Nelly, if you try to break out, I'm selling you. Do you understand? I'm selling you to a normal zoo. They don't have cookies there. Saboteurs. Okay, hold up, hold up. This is gonna be the perfect test to see if the security guards are actually able to stop them. Uh, security. Stop saboteurs. 
There's no saboteurs active. I literally just got word that there's a saboteur in section one. Oh, this is section two! I gotta get to section one! No! No, 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 no! That's why! Give me my helicopter! The saboteurs, they're actually here! What's up, son? I am a trained ninja. You will perish before my eyeballs. Sector one saboteurs destroyed. Two active disasters remaining. You can see the locations of active disasters on the control room. So you're telling me that the other the other saboteurs are still active? Is there a security guard here that could help? Nope, nope, nope. There's only tool man. Tool man is not what I need right now. I do not need tools. Saboteurs in section two. Okay, wait a second. I can go back to my security guard. Let's go ahead and we're gonna fix this real quick. Hello, dinosaurs. Do not eat me. I will save you from this giant car. As you were, dinosaurs, go back to eating grass and terrorizing people. New dinosaur? We got new eggs. There is so much happening. There are so many emotions in today, today's video. I've been annoyed. I've been scared. I've been happy. And I've been really excited. If I remember correctly, there should be a security guard down here that can help with the saboteurs in section number two. At least I really hope so. Okay, this is the guy that I was looking for. Let's see. Now stop the saboteurs. Dealt with the saboteurs. Thank you very much. You're a very kind gentleman. Have a, have a, have a, have a piece of cotton candy, buddy. There's another one? Asset out of containment. A wild Spinosaurus has appeared. Okay, stay calm. Stay calm. A Spinosaurus, you guys are about to find out, is one of the biggest, deadliest dinosaurs with really sharp teeth. Nah, that's that's fine. To yeah, I don't even care. We're, we're gonna go sacrifice my body and all the cookies and cotton candy and disaster dogs that I have, and we're gonna go capture a Spinosaurus, because who else is gonna do it? It is a Spinosaurus. I was literally here before. Hey, sir. How you doing? Stay away from me, bro. Yo! No, sir. Get tranquilized. Secondly, get in this container. Oh, I spanked them. Uh, what if I throw this down? Okay. Okay, now there's two. What exactly is happening? We have saboteurs that just busted in. These guys just decided to clone themselves. Did I unleash the other dinosaur by accident? That's that's literally impossible, right? This this is just a bad dream that I'm having. There. What, what is it? What is happening? I gotta kill them. I can't afford to. I can't even hit this dude. Oh no 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 no. No. Security! Please die. Please die. Die. Please. Please die. I don't want to kill you, but keep waking up. I'm dead. I'm flipping dead. The saboteurs are attacking. I need you to No, no, no. Okay. New order business. We're gonna we're gonna be back here later and we're gonna have to figure out a way to deal with those. Okay, I managed to work my way over to the saboteurs. There are three other disasters happening. And I apparently wait, I didn't complete that one. Where's the rest of the saboteurs? Hello. Saboteurs? I don't I don't see any. There's another one! Dinosaurs have broken through the dome of the aviary. What is happening? How how difficult is it to run a park? Mr. Miles Rowney, we have lots and lots of issues and not a lot of time. I need a flipping copter, dude. A violent storm is approaching. Head to sector two and use the weather station. This is actually the worst thing. This is what happened last time, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys watched the last series, you know that things went wrong super fast. So I think about the aviary right now, but I really don't see anything broken. Oh no, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, okay, we're gonna hop out. Hit that with the wrench. Okay, we're gonna hit this one with the wrench and okay, disaster three has been stopped. We need to go to section number two. We have to go to the weather station in order to get this storm averted. Um, um, what? I dropped my wrench. There are wild velociraptors. Okay, I got my stun stick out at the very least. How do I, do I, do I repair this? Do I, okay, okay, uh, I think I locked them in. Is there somebody in charge here? Hey, Barry, can you, can you do something, Barry? I feel like you're not doing much there, Barry. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay, we literally have, I think, close to 10 disasters that have spawned in. And there is no sign of them slowing down. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm thinking is, uh, oh, great. We have, um, Storm 2, which means that the disasters are just gonna keep coming even stronger than before. I'm gonna do my best to keep dealing with these disasters, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I also found out that you can kind of talk with the team and they can help you a little bit. I think I'm just gonna leave it there. We're gonna go to bed. Next episode, I actually want to explore the park and maybe try to feed some of the animals. But yeah, in between episodes, I will do my best to try to get rid of every single disaster. Which, uh, yeah, it might be slightly impossible. Right now, yes it is. This is the coolest thing. Okay, ready? It's gonna happen in three, two, one. <laughs> that is so sick. Bro, that literally will never get old. Seeing the giant prehistoric Mos Mosasaurus creature just jump out of the water and eat a great white shark like it's nothing.
Some of you guys also commented that there is an underground section. I think it might be right here. Oh, it is. What? Look at it, dude. Look at Nessie. She's so big. Look how many teeth she has. I think the Mosasaurus exhibit is definitely ready for people to come by and watch uh, Nessie absolutely destroy some sharks. So let's go around and check on the other exhibits. By the way, for those of you guys that are new and have no idea what's happening, I opened a Jurassic World Park. Obviously, it has a ton of different dinosaurs, uh, but things may have gone slightly wrong. Right now, we are closed down, but uh, we are slowly and steadily working our way back up so that we can eventually reopen. Uh, in the last episode, I actually brought back to life a Gallimimus, uh, which should be fully grown out here. Let's take our Jurassic World truck, and we can actually ride next to these while they're running around. Uh, so far, everything looks in tip-top shape here in Gallimimus Valley. I need you guys to look around. If you see anything that looks slightly broken, please go ahead and leave a comment down below so that I can go back and fix it. Uh, is this supposed to be open? I guess, yeah, we can keep this open for now. Let's go talk to Darnold in security. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's stop the saboteurs. No saboteurs. All right, track the storm. No storm currently. Good job, Darnold. Have yourself a hot dog. Let's also check on our tiny little giant dinosaurs. This is where everybody can come inside and actually basically go with the little triceratops. I think that's the only gentle giant that we have in this exhibit. Ooh, let's go check on our Tyrannosaurus Rex. Dude, there it is. Look how massive it is. This is Rexy. Wait, what did I just do? I spawned in a sheep. Oh my gosh. I feel terrible, but I'm gonna do it again. Uh, Rexy eats like a savage. Uh, so I'm pretty sure Rexy was rescued from the original Jurassic Park. This exhibit seems kind of tiny, but honestly, I'm okay with that. We need to make sure Rexy does not escape. Everything looks secure here, and Rexy looks like she is in tip-top shape. I also just found a quick build section. We can help you build a new exhibit. I have the blueprint for an amphitheater or an aquarium. Well, I don't really know what an amphitheater is because my brain is tiny like a, like a, like a giant T-Rex. But we're going to try an aquarium. What? That was so fast. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you guys to comment down below what we should put in our brand new aquarium. Let's travel over to the aviary to check on our dinosaurs that are able to fly. First things first, we have another quick build section. Let's do a safari. Yo, I am loving this. The aviary recreates the hot, humid habitat of the Jurassic and Cretaceous eras, a perfect home for the Pteranodons and Dimorphodons. Wait a second, let's see if we can spot any. I see one! I actually made it inside! Dude, if one of these things eats me, I'm gonna be really mad. Oh my god! Dude! Dude! Why did the staff member not explain to me that these things are deadly creatures? Why, bro? I've never seen a bird that has teeth like that. There's also another type of dinosaur in here that's, uh, that maybe is a little bit friendlier. I don't want to go back inside, so we're gonna go hang out with a Triceratops. This thing is so big. I think he just farted. All of the exhibits seem to be in tip-top shape. So let's head back to Mr. Masrani. For those of you guys that are new, this is the co-owner. Uh, he may have fired me the first time around, but I uh, did, did, you know, on purpose, not by accident, because I maybe uh, did a couple things wrong. That's okay, Mr. Masrani. We're, we're doing good today. Let's go down to the control room to see if there are anything, uh, if there's any disasters. I don't think there are. It says currently we have three out of six of the Isla Nublar samples, which I I think that means I need to go on another fossil dig. Let's go check it out. Nope, it looks like I've already collected all of the fossils here. So we're gonna head back, Mr. Masrani. What's, uh, what do you want me to do next? Over here in the hatchery, uh, the Triceratops that we brought back to life has fully grown. Uh, let's uh, capture this ginormous beast. Hey there, buddy. Okay, we're gonna capture you. Please let me capture you. Please let me capture you. Please, please, please. I, I, don't, I don't want to, I want to do this the hard way. Oh my gosh, we're doing it the hard way. We're doing it the flipping hard way. I am so sorry. I gotta put him to sleep. Okay, go, go down easy, big guy. There we go. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. Can I capture him, please? Just let me capture him. Yes! Okay, we got him. Let's bring him back into the Triceratops exhibit, and then I think afterwards, we are good to open the park. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, before we leave, let's try to craft the DNA of some of the other dinosaurs. There's a lot in the park that we don't have yet. Let's try to get a Velociraptor. Okay, we need three Raptor DNA, two Medium DNA, and one Carnivore DNA. 
Velociraptor, boom. Okay, we can grab all of this. So if you guys haven't seen this before, we need to put the three red vials in the bottom, and I believe we need to put this at the top. This will allow us to extract all of the DNA into these vials. Okay, now we have three Velociraptor DNA. Now that we have all the DNA, we need to sequence it together. So we add the three red Velociraptor DNAs, the two medium DNAs, and then the carnivore DNA. And there we go. We have a Velociraptor uh, uh, embryo. This is why I'm not a scientist, because it's very difficult for me to speak English. But that is okay. Next up, we incubate. We put the embryo in there. We put it inside of an ostrich egg. And then that's actually out. We're able to spawn in a baby Velociraptor. Let's test this out in three, two, one. Look at this little guy. Now we're able to clone it a million different times so we can have infinite Velociraptors. Is he friendly? He's a carnivore, so probably not. Wait a second. We can actually train the Velociraptors? Yo, we are definitely doing that in a future episode, ladies and gentlemen. For now. Out, we're gonna have to push this dude back. He seems really adamant about escaping, which I cannot let happen. He escaped! He escaped! I just throw the loose! What do we do? Okay. Okay. Nope. Nope, little dude. Nope. Nope. Not happening. I am so sorry. We're gonna have to put you back in there. He's sleeping. Why can't I pick him up? Oh, he's walking back in. Okay. Okay. I don't know how I just managed to get a little tiny baby Velociraptor back in his cage, but I did it. While we're here, I'm going to quickly extract all the different DNA of the fossils that I got in the last episode. Ladies and gentlemen, I just spent the past half hour crafting all of these different baby dinosaur eggs. Now in that time, it looks like our Velociraptor is fully grown, so we're gonna have to put you to sleep buddy there we go and yeah we're gonna we're gonna just put you in this container so i don't die wait it says there's already a dinosaur in there no 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 that is not right transport crate do not wake up do not wake up what what no 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 no, no. what is happening no what is going on it killed it Ladies and gentlemen, we are not telling anybody about this. You saw nothing, sir. All right, let's go ahead and spawn in our baby Stegosaurus, our baby Pteranodon. Oh, that. Yeah, we're gonna have to shut this door. We also have a Carnotaurus. What? Okay, this is gonna eat everything. Uh, Stimgimolok. Not sure what that is, but it looks like a... Oh, it's got like one of those skull crushers. It's like I got a rock on its forehead. We also have a Dilophosaurus. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's a small little baby. A Brachiosaurus. A Spinosaurus. And a Comsagnus, which is just way too tiny to be in here. I think I just set myself up for a disaster. They are super cute. This guy is the cutest thing I've ever seen in the entire world. I think he just fell into the food bowl. I am going to need a lot of crates. I probably should have done just one at a time. <laughs> this guy is right in front of two of the deadliest dinosaurs. Hey, that's your fault, bro. I told you not to walk in here. Oh, they're bigger. Okay. I need to get in there. It's all gonna happen really fast. Okay, we're gonna capture the dinosaur. Capture the dinosaur. Somebody's trying to kill me. It's the bird. I knew it was the bird. Okay, we got one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need a transport crate. Okay. All right. How you doing? I messed up, ladies and gentlemen. I messed up big time. Luckily, because we uh, we have all the dinosaurs already, we don't have to worry about too much. I'm gonna try to collect as many as I can and salvage the situation, but I done messed up big time. There is a massive T-Rex in there. This is just a battle royale of dinosaurs. So the security guard literally has, has no idea what to do. Can I capture? Oh, no, we're just, yeah, we're gonna let them do their thing. Luckily, if we check out over here, we have more eggs. So I could always just spawn in more dinosaurs and and we're gonna do it one at a time from now on. Come on, give me the dinosaur, give me the dinosaur. Just let me collect at least one. I think I got it, I don't know. It's glitching out pretty hard right now. But it says release dinosaur, so I think I caught one. Whoever wins the battle royale will get to go home to their cage. I think the T-Rex, <laughs> it ate everything other than the bird. All right, buddy, you win. <laughs> now you get to get put to sleep. Get in my cage, get in my cage. Go, 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 stop. Wait with the bird. Okay, it says I collected it, so I just have to believe that I did. We are going to attempt to get this absolutely insane bird. There we go. And the T-Rex ate me. Fantastic. Oh, hey, Mr. Masrani. Nah, nothing, nothing's wrong. Don't, don't even worry about it, buddy. It's, it's all good. Yeah, just, there's, there's a couple baby dinosaurs that are fighting to the death. It's fine.
For those of you guys that have no idea what's happening, I recently opened a Jurassic World Park with my buddy, Mr. Moz, 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 I forgot his name, Mr. Mazrani. I probably should not forget his name because he actually gave me all the money in order to open the park. Now, my job is park management. I've been pretty much just making sure everything has gone smoothly, that all the dinosaurs are healthy, that we have brand new exhibits, and that we're actually getting more dinosaurs added to the park. In the last episode, we were able to collect so many different dinosaur samples and bring them back to life. Uh, you might you might hear a couple of them right now. They're not very happy. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, they might be in tiny cages right now just until I release them into their brand new exhibits that we're going to be making in today's video. D uh, what's up, Dr. Wu? How are our baby dinosaurs doing? That aren't aren't really baby dinosaurs because last episode, they got really big. I think there's a bird in here. There's a, like some sort of pterodactyl creature that has teeth. Hey, okay, all right, dude. I literally, I birthed you. I am basically your mom. You will not disrespect me. I'm your... Parent. Oh, chill. T-Rex bit me. All right. You're a security guard, right? You're so How did you... Okay, his head is through the glass. Nope. 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 All right. Well, uh, I'm trained for this. I know exactly what to do. I need to get back to this guy. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll, we'll be we'll be making the exhibits and hatching dinosaurs soon. Just I need to get some tranquilizer darts. Just gonna yeah, just gotta charge up my my tranquilizer uh, crossbow. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna tranquilize. I missed. No, no, it's fine. I'm I'm trained for this. Come here, you flipping nugget dinosaur. Come on. I got him. Down goes the T-Rex. Okay, I need to get in and get out. Okay, I think did I collect it? it says hold up. It says release dinosaur. So I think I have it. I have a couple dinosaurs that are trapped in here. Let's go try another transport crit. Uh, oh, where did you go? I'm so confused. There is a, there's a T-Rex or there was a Triceratops in that, bro. You didn't even tell me. Well, bloody gentlemen, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave the dinosaurs in there. They're gonna probably fight, so we're gonna... Nope, nope, I'm out, I'm out. I'm not doing this today. Sir, you are in charge of the man-eating, flesh-eating, giant, peanut-brain dinosaur in there named the T-Rex. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, in the last episode, I also made some brand new exhibits. So we should be able to grab some of our dinosaur eggs, and we can actually hatch them inside of the exhibits. So we have a Spinosaurus, we have a Pteranodon, a Gallimimus, Dilophosaurus, Compsognagnet, I don't know how to pronounce this one, it's got a weird name, Brachiosaurus, the giant giant neck to dinosaur. And I think that's most of them. Let's go ahead back up to the helipad and then we can fly to our brand new exhibit where I'm going to be unleashing our dinosaurs. Aha, here's one of the brand new exhibits, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Okay, so we just fixed up the safari for us. Now I'm thinking the safari can have all different types of dinosaurs that get along. So if we go in here, we should be able to open the exhibit and then people can get inside of their big ball gyrospheres that act as like sort of the exploration vehicle for all of the visitors. They can use those in order to go around this mini safari. We have a bigger one in the main area of the park, but I think this one should do. All right, let's go ahead and spawn in some of our baby dinosaurs. Oh, look at it. It's so tiny. So we're going to need to do a little bit of testing today, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm honestly not sure which dinosaurs will get along and which won't. If I had to guess, a stegosaurus will probably get along with that guy. As long as they're not meat-eating dinosaurs, I think they should get along. The spinosaurus, um, yeah, meat-eating dinosaur. So, so oh, you guys know we can't really add it to this, but maybe we can add in another exhibit for our giant carnivore dinosaurs. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do want to see another episode, please go ahead and smash like. You guys have been loving this series, so if you guys do want to see another episode, let's try to hit 20,000 likes in under 24 hours. If we could somehow do that, I will reopen the park in the next episode, and we will attempt to see how many visitors we can get. Let's go ahead and spawn in our Pteranodon. Never mind, that was probably the worst idea I got. I possibly had today because look, there's no roof and this thing is gonna just, it's gonna fly around. It's gonna eat things. Can I get it back? Can I, all right, I'm so sorry, uh, Tyrannodon. You're gonna have to go back in, in, inside of an exhibit that has a roof. Okay, he's already escaped. Whatever you guys do, don't tell a single soul. Don't tell Mr. Masrani. Don't even tell your parents. Don't just, it's gonna be our little secret that I unleashed a giant dinosaur in this world. Can I snipe it? Probably not. It's, uh, it's pretty evasive and it's also just a it's just a baby. Come on back, buddy. Look, I got I got disaster dogs. You want a flipping disaster dog? I guess not. Okay, well, we'll just keep spawning in baby dinosaurs. Next up, we have a Dilophosaurus. This is, this is a meat-eating dinosaur. You guys see those teeth? 
I'm so sorry, little guy. Can I put him in here? I don't think I can, ladies and gentlemen. I think the baby dinosaurs don't fit inside of these cages. Well, at least he's sleeping, so he can't kill anything. Let's go try a Gallimimus. Oh, okay. This one is definitely going to work splendidly in our safari. Look at it run around, galloping in the plains. So majestic, so beautiful. I think he just ate a piece of dirt. How is this? Wait, 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 what? This dinosaur is sleepwalking. You realize you're sleeping, little dude. I broke the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are broken, ladies and gentlemen. He will be my 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 little accident of, of a dinosaur creation. I didn't mean to do it. I also did not mean to release the Pteranodon. This is probably why I got fired when I opened my last uh, park. Well, we gotta keep our head up and keep moving forward, as my great-grandfather always used to say. Spawn in more dinosaurs! Boom! What do I- Whoa, wait, wait, what? Yo, this thing- <laughs> Did it just bark at me? Are you- Little dude, little dude, you're like, you're like a lizard. You're, it's, it's, it's like the size of a, whoa. Okay, they're getting bigger, ladies and gentlemen. The Stegosaurus has grown to full size. Let's go, wait a second. That means that the bird creature I released is probably going to grow to full size very shortly. There's only one more dinosaur that I would like to spawn in our variety safari, and that is the Brachiosaurus. This thing as a baby probably weighs more than me and also is taller than me. That's how you know it's going to be massive. I should probably close this too, because yeah, the, the dinosaurs just could have walked out at any time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we wait until the rest of the dinosaurs grow to be big and strong, and then I can officially open this brand new exhibit. It will be named the Beck Bro Safari of disaster dogs d d disaster hot dogs not actually disasters because that I don't think people would show up then again in in Disney World they have something called the Tower of Terror and that's like my favorite ride so I guess the name really doesn't matter too much oh uh, snap crackles and pops chicken nuggets and biscuits ladies and gentlemen macaroni on a stick they're all fighting and I'm not sure exactly what I'm saying but this this dude's still kind of sleeping can I can I collect his body maybe he just ate one of my dinosaurs, even though he can't stand. And he is attacking me now. Fantastic. This is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. What do I do? It's going for my ankles. Nah, fam. Nah, fam. Nah, 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 nah. I birthed you. I'm literally your mom. Don't eat your mom, please. Okay, I have subdued him. He's now sleeping. Can I collect him? Why does he not fit? Oh, thank everything. Thank cookies. Thank disaster dogs. We have captured a meat-eating dinosaur that was trying to eat every other dinosaur in my safari. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we almost have max-sized dinosaurs in here. This dude uh, named Tiny, that's gonna be his brand new name, is still obviously a very small baby. And then our Brachiosaurus is probably still a baby or else I would be able to see it. Yep. Yeah, okay, so he's over here just just kind of hanging out. Looks like he's plotting his escape. What was that? Oh, no. Wait, ladies and gentlemen, I think I might know what that is. I think I might know what that is. Uh, I think I might have a rough idea of what that sound might be. It's the Pteranodon. Ah! No! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to do this, but I think I might have to do this. <laughs> I got him. Okay, now we need to find uh where where's where, where's security? Medical. Do you have crates? Nope. You got med kits, of course. Uh, food vendor. This is probably a good opportunity to grab uh, some more disaster dogs. Only available in Jurassic World. By the way, we only have cookies available at BeckBroJack.co. They're super soft and very squishy. I sleep next to one every single night, and I uh, I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. It is the softest cookie in the entire world, and I love cookies. But every single morning, I wake up and I try to eat it. But you can't eat it because it's soft. It's a plushie. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we should probably figure out what we're going to do with that sleeping meat-eating dinosaur. Also, that could be a problem. The Brachiosaurus has basically left the exhibit. All right, so this isn't, this isn't going as planned. One bit. This dude, all right, I'm so, you're going to have to die. I don't, I regret doing this, but I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We can always make more, ladies and gentlemen. I have cloned all of the eggs. Now there is the issue of that. I'm thinking I can maybe use the helicopter in order to push the Brachiosaurus back into the safari. Now, this this is probably not the best move, but it's my only move at this point. I am currently just chopping him with the helicopter blade, so that's not super effective. Can I push you with my body? I am a, a, just a tad bit too tiny for this, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I can just walk through its legs, and my body is about the size of his foot. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna attempt to punch it. Get back in. Get back in. 
Get your butt back in there. That's right. Okay, he's he's very close to being back in. No, stop. That's right. Come on down. Oh. Oh, okay. I see how we're gonna play this. Mr. Miles Ronnie, everything's fine. Don't worry. Don't just disregard where it says in chat that I got killed by a Brachiosaurus. That's just my friend. And his name's Brachiosaurus. So, yeah. I think he bought it, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the clear. Where is this giant beast? Okay. All right. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. See, last time you stomped on my head. I'm okay with that, because I did slap you. Even though you're like 16 times bigger than me, it's fine. It's cool. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to uh, put you to sleep. There we go. I should have done that first. Last time, don't fall on my body. And now we're gonna need to slightly push you. Supposedly, I am extremely strong. I am so strong, in fact, that I just moved an entire Brachiosaurus using one arm. Oh, he doesn't seem too happy about that. I think he's in, though. I don't think he can escape. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we did it! All of the dinosaurs are in the brand new Beck Bro Safari. Even this little dude. Did you just really try to... Are you serious right now? This little dude's a savage! My mans! My dino! I thought we were friends. If you weren't the, the cutest little dinosaur in the entire universe, I would literally slap you to death. But ladies and gentlemen, I, I honestly, I don't think the other dinosaurs are going to care about this little ankle biter. So I think this has been a job well done. Where he stay, no escaping. I think this was a successful day in the world of Jurassic World. If you guys did enjoy and do want to see another episode, we need 20,000 likes in under 24 hours. I know you guys can do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Beck Bro Dino Master, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes. There's brand new Beck Bro Jack merch. We have shirts, hoodies, plushies, posters, and more available only at BeckBroJack.co. Get yours today.